Don't buy this figure for your kids, and in today's video, I'll show you why. Yeah, her top comes off. All right. It's a big girl today. What? The figure we are talking about is a bootleg Lady D from Resident Evil 8. Yeah, there's a bootleg thing in the back. I was taking pictures for my upcoming action figure, Fat Cap Joe. He's releasing on Friday, so if you're around, look for my notification on YouTube. I'm going live this Friday, 6 o'clock p.m. This is the newest Resident Evil that just came out. It's a really good game. Even if you don't play Resident Evil or you don't know what's going on, you could just jump into this game, and I think it's pretty standalone. And she was one of this standout character she's not even that much of a main character but she's really definitely a most memorable and this is why I don't like to pre-order stuff is because I had her pre-ordered and I bought her already so I literally have two of her there's another one coming in the mail but this is something I actually do not mind because there's a reason why people like her and you will see it in today's videos the thing that's interesting is this is not official so this is a basically a bootleg or a third-party company figure she is a giant she is larger than normal. This is actually 112 scale. So this is in scale with some other Resident Evil figures we'll be taking a look at. I'll show you guys with Marvel Legends and everything. She is a giant, so she's bigger than a normal figure, but she's still in scale. Now, I didn't know I was getting this. This is the exclusive uh, deluxe version where she comes with this cool little rug and a fly swatter. So the reason she comes with the fly swatter is somebody modded the game. I didn't even know people do this, but there's like a whole, you know, I'm not really a gamer. So there's people who mod the game. And what they were doing was they made it so she, you could have a fly swatter instead of a weapon and you could just go past her and swat her butt. Uh, guys, remember, this is gamers we're talking about. And I know you're, someone watching this video, you've done this. And I'm not shaming you, but I am pointing my finger at you. I see you. But, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not judging. You f you swat away. And, uh, just a cool little, this looks like it's just printed. It's not like the highest of quality, but you know what? It actually works. And it was a free extra. I will never complain about extra accessories. All right, so now that she's out of the box, oh, head pops off very easy, which I always appreciate. Put her necklace on. She comes with a few extra hands, so she has two pointing hands. Ethan, I'm pointing at you. The main character's name is Ethan. She's got normal glove hands like that. And let's put her head on. She has different heads. Let's put the different heads on. Another head that looks pretty similar. Um, both the heads look kind of, oh, one smirking and then one's an angry face. I do like her with the hat. Very, oh, there it is. Yeah, so I'll probably have her with the, oh, this figure is beautiful. I am very happy. I'm, per, yeah, I'm happy, man. Hands are a soft rubber, so they go in pretty easy. Now, I think, like, this hand is to hold her, you know, she could hold her cigarette thing. You know, she's an old-timey lady, so she smokes her little cigarette thing. She does have these claw hands, which are very cool. Again, the hands pop off pretty easy. Let's, let's see how it is with the claw. Oh, there you go. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. I do like the claw hand. All right, hold on a second. So we have, now that we ran through all the accessories, let's see how she looks with some other figures. She's so big, she makes my background look bad. <laughs> but here we go. So just with some different types of figures so you could see how she scales. Here is the Mezco Living Dead figures, Night of the Living Dead figures, they're zombies. Here's a Marvel Legends Peter Parker. Here is the Leon figure from RPD Toys. Wait, what was it? Damn Toys, I believe. Uh, and then here's my figure. This is my Goose Faba, six inch scale. So just so you can see how everything looks. Personally, I am super excited. I am growing a nice little premium Resident Evil collection. Sadly, Resident Evil, they don't make figures. So all my figures for Resident, Resident Evil are basically third party bootlegs. And, uh, it, that's a shame, but this is this Leon is my favorite figure. One of my favorite figures that I own is this Leon, and it's third party, and it came with a ton of accessories. So I am all for third party. Today, while I'm filming this video, a new, from this studio, Patriot Studios, they're making the Resident Evil Zombies, Police Officer Zombies, two different ones in different colors. So I am gonna be pre-ordering those once I'm out of here. I don't buy many figures except Resident Evil. That's like one of my top franchises. I just love it. Guys, what do you think? Are you picking this up? Did you like Resident Evil? I do have a review of this Leon up on the channel if you wanna see it. Along with Goose Faba and the Mezco Toys, I have a review of all these figures up here. Hit that sub button and go check out my page and see what other videos we got. Thanks for watching. This was Rock of the Great. Stay great and we're out of here.
Huge shout out to all my channel members. Without you guys, I couldn't do this on YouTube. And if you want to support, the link to join is always down below. Basically, it's Patreon for YouTube. Help support today. Thank you guys. Down below is always a link to my merch website. Want to send something into the channel? I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel.